But she got fake ass. Let me make my day back. Huh? Hey, man. We finna, uh, go ahead. Give them all I had, but that wasn't enough. I, 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 look, 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 look here, look here. We finna get to the video, man. Look, it's uh some different shit. It ain't no music reaction video. I'm finna switch it up. It's some shit called One in a Million, the rarest and most unique people on earth. The shit like eight minutes long, but I'm I was finna watch it anyway. I'm like I'm not gonna react to this shit. You know what I'm saying? So finna go ahead and get into this shit. See how it is, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? No. All right, that shit load up. Finna go ahead and get into this shit, man. I can touch my nose. I can touch my chin. I've the fuck? You gonna start the video off like that? Charlie says she can touch her nose. I'm like, I, I just seen somebody. She said she could touch her chin. Bro, what the fuck? I can touch my chin. I've already shown you the most unusual things and phenomena from all over the world. Now it's time for the people. In today's video, we're going to look at unique, brave, inspiring, and simply amazing people. Let's go. Macy Curran. If anyone can look at people from the... <laughs> Shut up. We stopped pausing. This motherfucker already eight minutes long. That's show the air, bro. Sell them, sell them, man. Sell them, sell Macy Curran. If anyone can look at people from the top down, it's Macy. 17 years old from Texas, she grew to 208 centimeters. But it's not her height that got her into the Guinness Book of World Records in 2021. Legs. Macy has just amazingly long legs. Hey, the well, length of the left one is 135.3 centimeters. Bro, and the right one is 134.3. And yes, your legs are also different lengths, so don't be surprised about it. Well, in any case, so far, nobody has managed to break this record. A girl's legs make up about 60% of her body, and right. this is a lot. Of course, with such height and such long Bro, legs, duck, there are she, certain... Shorty got a... Mm. Neck probably be hurting all day, be having a duck. Mm. Problems. Like it can be difficult for her oh, yeah, to pass yeah, through yeah. certain yeah. doorways to That's get into a car or to choose the right clothes. However, her long legs also give Macy a lot of advantages, especially when it comes to playing volleyball. She's already planning to go to college in the UK and get back into the Guinness Book of World Records, but as the tallest professional model in the world. Oh, well, wish her good luck. Zang Ru. See, I ain't finna. Man, it is Come clean on, man. A F in here. Hey, uh, ass, yeah, bro. Clean and God fresh. Damn. But they gotta start breaking shit down. They gonna take the centimeters, man. Put them all fucking, you know what I'm saying? Feet and inches on there. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got time to be looking that shit up. I can't do that shit on top of my head. I ain't one of them now. All right. A hundred year old woman who lives in China knows how to surprise. She probably didn't do it on purpose, though, because this elderly woman grew a horn on her head. Literally. Back in 2009, on the left side of her forehead, the skin thickened and then appeared a bump. And then a very real horn began what to grow. Most likely, what? it consists of keratin, the same substance of which our nails are made. Yeah, a nail in the head. Thank you, oh, nature. Sorry, Normally, when these are formed on the boy, human man. body, their length doesn't exceed a couple of millimeters. But Zhang's horn has reached six centimeters. It seems that like Grandma it. quickly got used to it and even got attached to it. Although in the beginning, the horn prevented her from sleeping. Imagine if that thing grew oh, yeah, on your yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, and I was so. thinking, haven't any of her seven children noticed that she changed just a little bit? Alas most of the time Zhang spent alone, so family members didn't immediately notice the problem. And when they did, it was too late for their grandmother, who refused to remove the horn surgically. Instead, apparently, in? she began to grow a second horn on the oh, other side. No, no, no seriously. Oh, there it is. Sure See it? Unfortunately, I... Nah, nah. Oh, you going two horns at the head. I ain't... All right, Grandma. I'm gonna holler at you just so I cut loose. Instead, apparently, she began to grow a second what? horn on the other side. No, seriously. There it is. See it? Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find out how she's doing today. Zion Clark. The story of Zion Clark is one of those that is commonly told to show the incredible power of the human spirit. And it all began with the fact that Zion was born with an incurable disease. Caudal regression syndrome is a dangerous genetic disease in which the spinal cord, as well as all lower extremities and organs, stop developing at the level of the sacrum. It would seem that with such a diagnosis, you wouldn't even be able to think about sports. But one day, Zion found himself on tatami. Quite an unusual choice. Surprisingly, the coach helped him to believe in himself himself, not to look for excuses, and to work out to not one, but 200%. Today, the guy successfully wrestles and performs in the weight category yeah, up to 50. Ain't no way that's two of them, right? 
That gotta be like a mirror. Hundred percent. Today, the guy successfully wrestles and performs in the weight category up to 57 kilograms, and Zion himself weighs about 45 kilos. That doesn't stop him. Also, a young man deliberately doesn't join the category of people with disabilities. All Zion's rivals are the most common wrestlers, which means that he has to make twice as much effort to defeat them. But he succeeds. Moreover, he doesn't stop at wrestling. Zion is studying to get higher education, races wheelchairs, and plays drums. Success in sports and incredible willpower have made Zion famous. And you know, I think it's absolutely deserved. They started broadcasting stories about the young man on national television uh, and making real. short films. In I'm the end, Netflix producers right even right. bought the rights to a documentary in which Clark played the lead. What could be cooler yeah, than right. Netflix got, these days? Nyakim Gatwich. Nyakim Gatwich calls herself the... That what you call an African. Right there. Black power. I ain't never seen Nyakim Gatwich. Hold on. Nyakim Gatwich... Damn, shorty about the same size. That's two case. I'm not saying same size, same color. She dark calls herself the queen of dark, unique, and this title really suits her. The girl's skin has an incredibly beautiful dark tint, so yeah, unusual that it attracts attention. Now, Nyakim is a successful model with almost a million subscribers on Instagram, but her path to fame and acceptance was very long. Nyakim's family, who fled South Sudan, had to go through a lot of trials. In the United States, Nyakim immediately felt how different she was from others. At some point, the girl even thought about brightening up her skin. Fortunately, this didn't happen, and Nyakim was able to to love her unique beauty then yeah, become gotta, famous with its help all that, over the world that, Sarah Gertz people are willing to do a lot to keep their youth as long as possible skin? at best it's a healthy diet and self-care at worst no 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 ain't no way this her skin bro shit like a damn a Sarah Gertz people are willing to do a lot to keep their youth as long as possible at best, it's a healthy diet and self-care. At worst, well, the abduction of the king's daughter? With all this pursuit of youth, Sarah Gertz wasn't lucky. The girl was only 10 when doctors diagnosed a very rare skin disease, right, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. She, this disease she. suppresses the body's ability to produce collagen, so the skin loses its elasticity and premature wrinkles appear. Yeah. Only one of 5,000 people in the world get this syndrome, but Sarah's case is not only rare, but also yeah. Severe. Her muscles and joints are weak, her skin is soft, dry, and covered in wrinkles. At the age of 20, the girl, according to her words, looked like a 40-year-old. At 26, she was already 50. Can you imagine what emotions that caused? However, Sarah did manage to gradually cope with this disease, and so successfully that she decided to choose a career as a model. In the end, any differences make us unique, and therefore beautiful. The more diverse we are, the cooler. Adrian Lewis when you look at Adrian Lewis, you don't even think that she's any different from the absolute majority uh, of no people on the planet. But this is only until the girl opens her mouth. I can touch my nose. I can touch my chin. Y'all better not be trying to touch. I better not see nobody on this motherfucker trying to touch their nose and their chin either. I, I bet it's one of you. I bet a couple of you motherfuckers didn't try it. But this is only until the girl opens her mouth. I can to touch my nose. Doing it right now? I can touch my chin or rather until she shows you her tongue, because its length is over 10 centimeters. Adrian considers her tongue to be the longest tongue in the world, and at the age of 13, she even made it to the pages of a book that collects unusual things from all over the world. Not a Guinness Book of Records, of course, but it's also not bad. She can touch her nose, chin, elbow, even her eye with her tongue. So I'll wait for you to try it yourself. Don't forget to write the results down in the comments. Well, if you're wondering how Adrian could grow a tongue this long, here's the answer. It's all about genetics and the habit of constantly sticking it out. In elementary school, she even scared away bullies by simply clicking her tongue in their faces. <laughs> don't try to repeat that. Seriously, don't do not do that. It's not gross. Victoria Wright. Damn. Vicky Wright, then Vicky Lewis, was only four years old when her face and then her life completely changed. A rare genetic disease, cherubism, which... I'm just gonna, I'm, I ain't my bad, y'all. This shit not kind of what I expected because I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I just... I thought it was gonna be like, you know, shit like rare shit, like not no disease. I thought it was gonna be like, you know, some shit. I'm like, wow, that's tough. That's good. Uh, and it's only like the black girl, the tall girl, other than that. All this shit been diseases. That shit. It is rare though, but at the same time, like. Right? Then Vicki Lewis was only four years old when her face and then her life completely changed. A rare genetic. Like crims and chin, but that's too much. I, mean, I had to let it out because if I held it in my head, 
I was going, I, I had to let that Disease, go. cherubism, which My only bad. 200 people in the world have, deformed the lower part of her face. It wasn't easy growing up with such an unusual appearance. Not only children, but also adults reacted to Vicky, and by adolescence, the disease got worse. In addition, the girl experienced frequent attacks of pain in the eyes, head, and nasal sinuses. It had seemed that with such a set, you can only shut yourselves forever from everything and never talk to people again. But Vicky did the impossible. No, really, I didn't believe it when I read it. Not only did she stop worrying about the reaction of others, Vicky managed to love herself. And this is not a metaphor, not an exaggeration. When the girl was offered to perform an operation to reduce her jaw, she said no. Vicky says she's used to the way she looks, quite satisfied with her face and even proud of it. Her unusual appearance has only made her stronger. Maria Oz. Unlike many other characters in this video, Maria became known not for her unusual appearance, or rather, not only because of it. The girl creates impressive animated stop motion videos. It all started with small videos, but the better they got, the more people subscribed. In the end, people started to recognize Maria in the streets, because you've got to admit, her appearance is memorable. Once you see those huge eyes, you'll never forget them. Well, well, you do know that okay, each that, person that, is that unique in their own not, way, uh, and that the more variety, what? the cooler. Yeah, you know that. Why'd I bother to tell you? Just subscribe to the channel, and oh, you've already subscribed? Yeah, Have you liked the video? Like this, well, this I shit. guess I, I got nothing else for I'm you. Fine. How about a little cat video? We'll see you later. I find other kind of video. That, that, hey, that wasn't it right there. My bad if y'all didn't like it. <laughs> I was trying to try some new shit. I seen that shit on my, uh, my thumbnail. I mean, my, uh, my feed and I had like I'm always going ahead and do this shit, but no, nah, that ain't that ain't that ain't the move for. I ain't fucking with that. I might still upload it though. But y'all fuck with your boy, y'all fuck with that shit, y'all hit that like button, y'all comment, y'all subscribe, y'all do all that man, cause I'm finna Hey out of this bitch, man. That's boy Duke, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, if it's some more videos y'all think I should react to some shit like any other than music, I probably start doing sports, all that type of shit, you know what I'm saying? But just to cause that that music should be ain't too many motherfuckers I fuck with like that, but I'm finna get out of this bitch, man. I ain't trying to talk y'all ears off, man. Focus your boy.